Welcome to Fairlanes Bowling Center in Halifax, Nova Scotia for the finals of the World Singles Knockout Tournament. In this match, the two finalists are Matt Cormier and Nathan LeBlanc. Matt Cormier will start on lane 17 with Nate LeBlanc on lane 18. Matt Cormier qualified 29th in this event with a 6.45 in the five string qualifying round where uh, Nate LeBlanc had 6.63 which was good for a 15th seed. And Nathan starts off with an 8 drop leaving the 2.10 with some wood and Matt Cormier misses the head pin but leaves a 1.610 and there's a spare by Nate LeBlanc. Let's see if Matt Cormier can match it. And he does. A couple of great shots right there to start off this match. Now take a look at the replay. Nathan LeBlanc with the 210. That wood kind of shoots the two pin right off the sidewall and into the 10. And here is the shot by Matt Cormier. 1610. He hits the head pin and cuts it into that wood. Clearing out the 610 nicely, so both bowlers are off to a good start. Nate LeBlanc defeated Sean Baker in the semifinals by a score of 142 to 132 to arrive at the final. And he punches out five on the spare. Matt Cormier defeated Sean Morrison in the semifinals, 154 to 120. He fills his spare with seven, leaves a two, four, five. Nate LeBlanc is a member of the A-plus accounting team in the team tournament later this week. They're uh, based out of Halifax Fairlane, so this is a home game for them. And Matt Cormier is actually not competing in the team event this year, although I suspect he'll probably be invited next year after uh, seeing how well he's done this year. Matt makes a spare in the second frame converting that triangle. Nate LeBlanc with a strike in the third frame. That was solid. Let's go to the replay right away. He just puts this ball high flush in the 1-3 pocket and there's no doubt about it. Goes down very quickly. Matt Cormier with a good ball, a little bit full on the head pin. He leaves a 2-10, almost identical to the one that uh, Nate LeBlanc had in the first box. Let's see if he can get the same result out of it. He's got some wood behind the two that might help, and it does. Basically almost an identical shot. Let's take a look at it on replay. You will see that he hits the two pin pretty solid, and the wood goes over and takes the 10. Similar, although not quite identical, to the one that, that Nate LeBlanc had. So Nate LeBlanc working on that spare in the third. He's got 35 plus the fill, and he punches out four through the middle. Matt Cormier working on that spare that he had in the third. And he has got nine. Well, it's going to be a strike. Took a little while, but that wood came off the wall and rolled all the way across and got the seven. That gives him 65 plus a strike fill in the uh, in the fourth. And then Matt, or, uh, Nathan LeBlanc puts an eight fill on the strike in the third frame. That gives him 43. And he's got a 10 box. Let's take another look at the strike by Matt Cormier in the fourth. The head pin goes to the sidewall, and then it goes to the other sidewall, and this pin rolls all the way back across to take out the seven. So that's a flying start by Matt Cormier. He starts off with four marks in a row. He's got 65 plus the spare fill, and Nate with 53 through 4, and he drops 9 in the 5th. And he's got a 4-pin with some wood. Shouldn't be any problem there. 
And Matt, uh, Matt Cormier drops eight. He's got the six and nine. Nate makes the spare, so he's got 63 plus the fill ball in, in the fifth. Oh, Matt Cormier misses the 6-9, and that piece of wood comes across and tries to take out the 6, but it goes right in front of it, so he's going to be open in the 5th. And he will have 10, so he'll have an 84 half. And as the bowlers switch lanes, we'll take a look at the replay of Matt Cormier's spare attempt in the 5th. He just doesn't quite catch the 6-pin, and the, the ball goes by it, and that piece of wood comes off the wall and doesn't quite take out the 6. So that's going to mean that Nate will have a chance to close the gap here. He's got 63. So he's down by 21 minus whatever he gets on his first ball here in the sixth. Matt Cormier is on lane 18 now, and Nate LeBlanc moves over to lane 17. Matt drops 7, leaving the 6, 9, 10. And Nate LeBlanc, working on that spare, also drops seven, leaving the three, five, six triangle. So now, right now, through five frames, Matt Cormier leads 84 to 70. And Matt just goes by that six pin. And Nate LeBlanc converts the three, five, six for a spare. So that's gonna close things up a little bit. He's trailing by well, with the uh, the 10 by Matt Cormier, Nate is trailing by 14 pins minus whatever he gets on the, the fill ball. And Matt with another 7 drop and another spare leave. He's got the 3, 6, 10, and there is a strike by Nate LeBlanc. This is almost identical to the one he threw in the third. You can see, again, just high flush in the 1-3 pocket, and the 4 is the last one to go. That's very, very similar to the strike he had earlier. And that's very timely as it cuts the lead of Matt Cormier down to just 4. And once again, Matt slides by the object pin. So that's three spare leaves in a row that he has failed to capitalize on. That's uh, likely to be, that's not something you want to do in, in a uh, final, especially when you're bowling against a guy that's been bowling as well as Nate LeBlanc has so far. In any case, it's an eight box format, and he's got 102 through seven. Matt fires on lane 18 in the 8th, and he has got an 8 drop, and once again that 210, oh, and there's a strike, double strike by uh, Nate LeBlanc. And meanwhile, that 2 pin falls for Matt Cormier, so he's only got the 10 pin, and you can see the, the replay, that strike was just no doubt about it for Nate LeBlanc. And that makes it really important that Matt convert this 10 pin. And he just goes by, so that's that's a, a costly miss there. He'll be open in the eighth box, and he'll have Matt Cormier will have one eleven through eight. Meanwhile, Nate LeBlanc is working on that double strike, so it's pretty imperative that Matt bounce back. And that is an excellent way to bounce back right there. He has got a strike in the ninth frame. And this is kind of similar to, in a way, to the uh, the one he had in the fourth. He, he gets nine, but then sort of a messenger pin coming off the wall, and it rolls into the five and takes it down. So that's a clutch shot right there by Matt Cormier. Nate LeBlanc going for the triple strike doesn't hit the head pin. He's got five, leaving the, uh, what we call the Kaliri. One, two, four, seven, nine. And he goes by the head pin, so that kind of leaves the uh, door open for Matt Cormier to get back into the match here a little bit. Uh, Nate makes a nine box. So he's got one 
40 through 9, and, and uh, Matt Cormier with 121 plus 2 fill balls. So Matt is still alive, very much so, in the World Singles Final, but he's pretty much going to need another mark here, certainly. And he drops 7, leaving the 2, 5, and 7 with some wood. Pretty good leave. Nice wood. And Nate only drops 3, just takes out the 2, 4, 7, so that's a pretty difficult leave. And there is a spare by Matt Cormier, so that really tightens it up. Wow! Nate LeBlanc answers with the spare. Let's take a look on replay at how he converts this 3-drop. You will see that the head pin comes off the, it goes to the left side wall, and it goes all the way over, hits the right side wall, and then smacks into that other piece of wood, which takes out the 5-8. That is a clutch spare, and that's probably going to put the match away for uh, Nate LeBlanc. He'll have 150 with the ball working, and Matt Cormier drops eight with giving him a 149, and also an eight drop by Nate LeBlanc. So Nate LeBlanc wins the World Singles Championship, 158 to 149 over Matt Cormier. What a great match. Terrific bowling by both guys. It's kind of a shame that somebody had to lose the match, but it's uh, uh, the final score. Nathan LeBlanc, 158. Matt Cormier, 149.